Merry Old Christmas. Yeah, that's right. For those of you who celebrate uh, the old feast of Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the old Christmas is, is that there are two Christmases because there are two calendars. Basically, the calendar that we see December 25th on today is called the Gregorian calendar and was finally accepted uh, globally in the 1800s. It was a European introduced uh, calendar that had assumed that the astronomical calendar known as the Julian calendar was an incorrect calendar so the Pope uh, in his um, <laughs> infinite wisdom and his assumed godlike wisdom that he needed to correct the calendar so this is the birth of the Gregorian calendar and this is the birth of New Christmas on on December 25th. This pushes the old Christmas, the original Christmas, to January 7th, which is celebrated by the Eastern Christians. So the Western Christians, which are European Christians, celebrate on the new, the December 25th, and the old Christians, the Eastern Christians, celebrate on the 7th. So for those of you who celebrate on the 7th, Merry Christmas. This is going to be a very short measure because uh, I'm going to be going out soon uh, for the Christmas festivities, which ironically uh, <laughs> are basically um, the same as uh, most name days. Is You go out, you have a feast, uh, and then you come home again. So we do this uh, actually uh, depending on the size of your family and who you hang out with. Uh, this is actually done on a weekly basis, so uh, we actually have uh, Christmas almost every every single week. So those of you who like Christmas and are wondering why can't Christmas last all year round, well it can, because it just depends on the people uh, who you celebrate with. Uh, it can be celebrated, uh, Christmas can, can be and should be celebrated almost every every week, every Sunday, which is called the Lord's Day, can be Christmas all year round. So if you're a Christmas type of person and you want to celebrate Christmas and you want it all year round, here you do, here you go, every Sunday, that's your Christmas. Invite people over, cook some food. And have a little bit of a party. Uh, for those of you wondering how a physicist ends up in religion, it's actually quite simple uh, because religion can be looked at as simply a uh, religion or it can be looked at it as metaphysics. So I'm a physicist, I'm an astrophysicist, uh, I work on uh, quantum mechanics, quantum physics, this is where my theory extends from is this quantum physics. So the natural step for me is going from the quantum physics, which is uh, an anti-logical universe, into a metaphysics, which has uh, similar properties to the, uh, the, the, the quantum mechanics that I see, that, or the physics that, that I see uh, as I do my observations. This actually can be found in the old church. You have to go into the ancient Greek manuscripts to do this. Uh, and you can see a lot of the quantum mechanics, uh, including the, sem the, the simultaneity that we see with the, um, uh, the wave particle duality. Uh, in light, in fi and even in matter, that's e equal equals m c squared. Uh, takes the co takes the uh, the idea, which was proven by Einstein, that life exists as both a particle and a wave, and extends it out to matter e as e equals m c squared. Right, energy equals mass times the the speed of light squared. So at the speed of light, mass is equal to energy. Well. You can take this and, and, and extend it beyond, uh, and once you start extending it beyond the the seen nature of the universe, because we know there is an invisible universe, this uh, now is actually our, our sort of our our brief insight 
to the unseen universe is dark matter. Uh, so we know in the physical universe that there is beyond what we see. So this extends or lends itself to extend into metaphysics beyond the regular physics that we see. So there's physics of the physical universe that we see and then there's the beyond physics, beyond the uh, physical universe that we see. Uh, and so there isn't really uh, when you're working or trying to explain the existence or the workings of the universe, and that is actually what a natural physicist does, we are here to explore the universe, it is not unusual to say, well, from what I've seen, there is beyond the visible. So therefore, you go from the standard physics, or, 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 or what we call the regular physics, into the metaphysics, the beyond physics, the beyond what we call the physical universe. So this is what leads me into my religion more as a science than is so much a religion. So uh, I have uh, enough evidence uh, on my side and op observation that I can say yes God does exist. He does not exist in the way uh, most Europeans think about God, uh, but he does exist if you go back into the ancient manuscripts uh, the way they had a description in the early Christian church. Now this, descri this description is not necessarily known to all people or to all Christians uh, because the church uh, I I I as a religion uh, sort of left a path open in the early church for people to choose how they wanted to believe uh, in Christ in terms of as long as you stayed within a certain parameters it was okay. As soon as you stepped outside these parameters it wasn't okay because you were no longer looking at the same thing. So as long as you stay within a certain degree of uh, a certain parameters, I'm not going to uh, go into it right now because it's too complex, uh, you have in an, actually an enormous amount of latitude. This is where you, get, you see that you can have uh, bound infinite space uh, because uh, within the bounds of where you need to be to see to sort of properly seeing uh, the unseen universe, the metaphysics, the latitude is actually infinite. But there are bounds. As soon as you step outside these bounds, you're no longer seeing the real uh, metaphysical universe, but you're seeing, uh, if you will, a hallucination uh, of the metaphysical world. So it's not, there's a difference. So you're either seeing the metaphysical world or you're seeing a hallucination of the metaphysical world. So uh, that's about it for today. I'll maybe comment tonight when I get back from the uh, festivities. Until then, Merry Christmas, or as the Greeks say, Kalakasuyana. Uh, and we will see you tomorrow.